today's video is all today I'm going to be modding this cottage and power supply. It's not a very good, not a very good quality unit, so I ain't going to use it for a computer ever again. So I'm going to mod it. Yeah, basically you get all your wires, group them to each, so it's 5 volt run. Another tap would be your 12, and your orange should be your 3 volt. Obviously all the blacks are all ground. As you see in here they're all grouped, I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to cut these connectors off and group all these to each um, separate taps. Then go over them with heat shrink, neaten them up and put crimps on them. So yeah, I'll do that. So yeah, I'll do that, that bit and just cut it off here. Cut it off here. First I cut the zip ties off and grip all the wires first. Then we can um, strip them, crimp them and then we can heat shrink them. Okay, if you always are left over with some spare wires, I'll later on test them see what they do. I've got my switch wire, heat shrunk. So yeah, this kit has all your popular sizes, as I was saying, you can clear. So yeah, switch wire, 12 volt, 5 volt, 3 volt, you know, common or ground. So yeah, it's all done. And then I've started on the switch, put our crimp things on it, we'll test what these are, find what they do. Yeah, the little switch here, I got off this cheaper, nasty shaver. Which will be fun to pop. So yeah, got a good switch off that. So I'll put this on, we'll solder this on and we'll give it a put some crimps on and we'll give it a test. Okay, viewers are all done. Got a switch. One um, common for each of my rails. Got a common for 3 volts, a common for the 12 volt and a common for the 5 volt. So yeah, I don't know what these are. I'll have to test these ones individually later, see what they do. So first I'll plug it in. It isn't already turned on by the switch. Right, let's turn it on. Ah, right, done! Cool, now I'm going to hook up a little multimeter and we'll test it here. So we've got a common 2, 3 volts. Come on, multimeter lead, stay. They're just touching, so I hope I've got a good connection here. Switch it on. Got a very bad connection, so after 3.3 volts. Yeah. It hurts nothing. 3 volts, switch off. Yeah, I'm gonna, just sitting on this, so I'm not going to get a good connection. But all those commons are obviously going to be the same. doesn't matter which one of these you connect to each, all the same. Let's try the 5 volt rail. Get it to sit properly. Okay, we'll switch on. Cool. That one's working. Yeah, it's obviously in reverse polarity too. I just have a minus symbol, but... I know anyway, it's the right voltage. Beautiful. We have voltage on all our rails. Now I'm going to try what these wires do. So I've got to carefully um, get something to hold this multimeter connected to one of these commons. Put it the right way this time. So if I um, just sit that in there. Hopefully they can stay. Alright, I'll put the multi camera over here for a second. Turn it on. And I'll put this one of these wires in, see what reading we're getting the multimeter. These aren't strips, they're a little bit difficult to do. Huh. Five volts in that purple. If I get the camera here. Five volts in the grey. And come on, put on there, will ya? Twelve volts in the blue. So I got an additional twelve volts in that blue one. Twelve volts and there are fives. So yeah. So yeah, I'll 
grip this one here with an extra 12 volt wire and there's 5 volts together. And yeah, I'll brand these together, put them on the one terminal, and I've got an extra common. So they're an extra independent pair, so that's good. So yeah, I'll do that. Okay, the oil's all, that's my 5 volt light, that's on when the power supply's off. Now if I turn it on, it's brighter. I've got a bad connection, so it's not going to stay on. That's off, and it's on standby, so yeah. Now I've got these two together, give me 16 volts to blow on the grey together. So if I put a load in that, I can run a 16 volt load. Or each of the black one, which will give me a 12 volt load. But yeah, that's my standby. I'll have to make some sort of, I'll get some other fitting for that and put some other little light bulb or LED or something on it. But yeah. LED would be better, I'll get like a little LED holder, put one of them on there, solder that on, put that on and we'll set it up on that. So yeah, that's all done, that's all for now, so yeah, thanks for watching.